those that come after us are going to be born directly into a prison that there will be no escaping from because they will have no reference point for what freedom actually ever was. I'm going to show you this BBC article and just run through it with you. Have a look at this, it's pretty interesting. This is the BBC's own website. This is what we'll do to our offices and homes. You know, I see a lot of people are talking about the post future. The, there is no post future, folks. It says here, one day it will subside. It could be eradicated. But even then, life will not simply return to the way it was before. Spurred on by the crisis, architects have been rethinking the buildings we inhabit. Okay, so you scroll down here. Meet Layla. Layla is of indeterminate race and age. It's 2025 and she works from home four days a week. It's been that way since the 2020 lockdown. Okay, they've been in lockdown since 2020 and it is now 2025. 6.30, she's on her way to work. Lelia arrives at a building where she meets people, blah, blah, blah. Starting times are, of the company where she works are staggered to minimize the number of people arriving at the same time. No human contact. Her office days are mainly for meetings, gone are the days when she's had to work, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. On the ground floor, Layla pauses in front of a thermal body scanner to check her temperature is normal. Today, she is 36.5. She passes. A camera used for facial recognition identifies her as a staff member. A security barrier opens at no point does she touch anything? Layla is on a contactless pathway. The lift to her office on the fourth floor is voice activated. Touchless technology has replaced grubby buttons. The maxi maximum occupancy is two. Voice acted elevators, folks. If you get locked out through social crediting, once it's all biometric and it's all run like this and it's all touchless and they know everything about you and everything you do and everything you say and everything you think. If you get locked out of the system due to being down on social credit points, your elevator won't even work in your building because it will be voice activated and your voice will be recognised by, by the elevator as one who does not have access. Soon you'll have voice activated doorways. The smart locks they want to put on your home, soon these will not be digital keypads. Soon. These will be biometric, they will be voice activated. And if you're down on credit points, they simply won't open for you. On the fourth floor, she walks down the corridor through the door. Both are wider than before to keep staff further apart and reduce the chances of being transmitted. Of course, that's what they say. No, it's just to keep you further apart. At the door, Layla uses a hand sanitizer. She's so used to it now that she doesn't even think about it sits down at her desk. Much of the furniture, as well as the walls, panels and facades, is made from antimicrobial material. It's easier to clean and harder for bacteria to stick to. Makes a coffee in the kitchen where the worktops are also antimicrobial. The handles of the drawers and cupboards are made of copper. It's costly, but a naturally microbe repellent material. The air conditioning uses UV light to kill pathogens. It also reduces the humidity to help prevent germs multiplying. Responding to a stream of data from sensors fixed around the building and wearable sensors used by the staff. Proximity meters, folks. Great stuff. Office is completely plain, blah, blah, blah. A whole bunch of propaganda here to let you know how she did with coping with it all. How she's only going to office once a week. Layla moved to the suburbs with a friend after the lockdown in 2020. When the lockdown came, she thought working from home would only last a few weeks and that she'd manage with a laptop on the kitchen table. But when weeks turned into months and months turned into years, she knew she would need a home office. When weeks turned into months, and months turned into years. 
What do you think of your new normal, folks? And you think about it, folks, with voice-activated technology, voice-activated door locks and a social crediting system, they've managed to turn the entire world into a prison, every house into a prison cell that you're only allowed to leave when you're on your best behaviour. You're only allowed to leave when you're behaving the way the government says you must behave. No more freedom, folks. None of that. The entire world is now a prison and every house is now a prison cell. Great plan. Great plan. And the problem is that it is actually working and it will work if people don't wake up to what is happening. I mean, this is, this is really serious stuff. Look where they want to go with everything, folks. Total isolation. You working from home. No contact with anybody else, totally contactless work, no touching anything, no touching other people. It's been quite a change for Layla and millions like her.